Well, to tell the story of Road to China is really to tell the story of the Fiber Co. Oh, what do I mean by that? Uh, well, we began as a micro-sized spinning mill. It was an inefficient setup to begin with, and because of this, we were able to experiment in ways that most commercial mills would never do. So for example, I used to go to the carding machine and blend different fibers together just to see what would happen. And one day in the mill, I received a shipment of exotic fibers I had ordered, specifically for this kind of experimenting. It included some camel hair, a beautiful champagne-colored cashmere, and some dark brown yak fiber. So I took these fibers to the carding machine and added some fawn baby alpaca and a bit of silky soy fiber just for fun. The very first version of this blend that I spun was a worsted weight yarn. And I was inspired to name it Road to China because as I was working with all of these exotic fibers, I was reminded of the ancient silk route and all the exotic textiles that were traded along that route. But I have to admit, I was also inspired by a 1980s movie called The High Road to China, an adventure rom-com with a bit of 1920s biplane aviation thrown in right up my street. These exotic multiple fibers also create some interesting color effects in the hand dyeing process. Now eventually, as we moved to work with partner mills, we had to remove the yak fiber because at that time it wasn't readily available. And we also replaced the soy fiber, also difficult to source, with mulberry silk. So the resulting yarn of baby alpaca and silk and camel and cashmere is the blend of Road to China that we know and love today.